Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy balloon butterfly. We're only going to use two balloons plus a couple of small scraps. Hello balloon artists, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the East Midlands. First you're going to need a 160 in a colour of your choice, I'm using pink. And when we inflate this, a lot of times people use the small pocket pump. Today I'm going to be using the Colatex hand pump. It's generally for the 260s and the, the larger balloons, but I like to use it for my 160s as well, provided that the 160s still have the um, nozzle end, still have the bead on the end, because that just makes it a little bit easier to get onto the pump. And what I do is I just kind of pull the bead apart and then I just fit that over the top of the hand pump like that and then I give the balloon a stretch so that it sits above the uh, the nozzle so it's not bent over at all the uh, the balloon the 160 is stretched stretched out above the um the the nozzle of the um, hand pump okay and then you inflate as normal and we want to inflate to about two fingers of tail let a little bit of air out just to soften that balloon slightly and give the nozzle a twist and then just tie and I tend to find that inflating with the larger hand pump um, you get a smoother fill. When I inflate with the uh, small pocket pump I tend to find that I kind of get slight ridges as, as I fill the balloon. Um, so you know each time you, you, you make a stroke of the pump you're kind of getting this slight ridge um, and I just find that smooths out somewhat with the, uh, the larger hand pump. So I've got a couple of fingers of tail there and I want to twist off a balloon, a bubble that is perhaps about seven, eight inches or so. And then I want to twist off a smaller bubble that is perhaps about four or five inches or so. And then just twist those two together, take the nozzle and just pass that through. Okay. And then I want to make another bubble that matches this one and then bring that down and make a second bubble that matches this one. Okay, so we've got two wings like that. Give your balloon a little squeeze and then I want to make a bubble of perhaps about three fingers or so and bring that up and just rest it in the join there between those two bubbles. Then bring your balloon over the top and make another three finger bubble. Bring that to the centre and just wrap that round. Okay. Then make another three finger bubble and bring that up here. Just rest that at the centre, bring it down make another three finger bubble and just bring that to the centre and then twist everything together. Okay, And then we can break this end off and we can tie. For our butterfly's body, take a five inch round. I'm using spring lilac and I want to inflate this to about three and a half, four inches. So that's, that's four inches. I'm going to let a little bit of air out and I'm going to tie and I'm going to make a soft knot which means I've not pulled the knot tightly so and I just grab hold of that knot and I'm now going to roll that knot along the neck so it moves along the neck and ends up closer to the, the bead on the, the nozzle okay and then I can squeeze the air into the neck I can take hold of my five inch round and I can twist off a bubble on the end okay so take hold of your butterfly's body I just like to keep hold of those two bubbles in between my little finger and my ring finger take the two and just wrap into those wings and then just arrange everything so that these uh, larger wings are on the top okay 
And now we can draw the face. So to draw the face, I first make two circles in blue. And I try to make them as close in size as possible. Then I take a black Sharpie and I draw two black circles inside, or a black circle inside each of the blue circles. Then I take my Edding 750 paint pen and I draw a white arc like that. And I just outline and then fill that in. And I put a white dot there. And I do the same on the other side. You can see this side more clearly because I'm not covering what I'm drawing with my hand. And another dot here. Okay, and then it's important to let this dry. And whilst we're waiting for the paint pen to dry, we can draw a little mouth. I just do this one. There are other ways to draw faces. You can design a face yourself. I just fill this in with a bit of red. And then just check with your finger that the white paint pen has dried, which it has. So what I like to do is I like to outline the iris like that and then I bring a line out here like that. I'll do the same on the other side. And then I outline the whole of the white section. And then I just do three little eyelashes. And then the final touch is just to take the tips of two 160s or 260s, if you've just got the tips left, tie them together and then just pull that up under the neck and you've got a pair of little antennae. I really hope you like this butterfly design. I think it's quite versatile. You know, you can really make it your own with how you create the face and the wings work well just on their own. If you're just wanting to give the impression of a butterfly or create a butterfly that is less cartoony. So uh, it's quite a versatile design. I really hope you like it. I really hope you like this design. If you do, please remember to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I publish new videos every Tuesday on balloon art, tips and tutorials. And I'll see you again in the next video.